I feel like the band Creed is missing out on an opportunity for a comeback. Have you forgotten that song, Can You Take Me Higher? I mean, it could apply to gas prices. The really fake articles that are coming out in the news. And the, uh, you know, can you lie to me any more than you're lying to me now with the media. Hello and welcome to the Collapse Experiment, where... We don't just spread the media lies, we we discuss them wholeheartedly and let you know when they're bullshitting you. Good times. So I probably should have made a list. It would have been a lot easier to just write down a list of all the things that the media is telling us that, quite frankly, are not true. Right? Like, it's not their job to inform us and help us make smart decisions about things, right? I mean, that's that's what they're paid to... Yeah, I, I honestly don't know what the hell the point of the media is anymore. Um, that could go all the way back to, oh, I don't know, uh, 2002, 2003, when they're like... Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. Everyone's like, oh my god, how did he get those? Well, we're not going to mention that <clears throat> we're the ones that gave that shit to him, but uh, whatever, it sounds good. Um, yeah, that's just uh, one example, along with, you know, the U.S. economy is better than ever, it's strong, and, and we will, oh shit, we need to give Wall Street a ton of money, because they were treating the whole thing like it was a damn casino oh my god uh yeah i mean they they don't have a history of doing it but in recent news like very recent news wow what did they what are they just making up today well let's see here uh allegedly russia went over to china asking them for help because oh my god the, the whole situation in ukraine is going so bad well yeah, that's 100% certain that's going to come out to be false. China already says, like, we don't remember that ever happening at all. You realize we're, we're sending aid to Ukraine, right? Hello? <laughs> it's, it's funny when, when you're flipping through the news articles and you see an article about China sending millions of dollars in supplies to Ukraine to help out with the whole situation. And then another news article saying Russia went to the same country asking for soldiers and weapons and, and ammo. Yeah. Um, doesn't work out too well when you do stuff like that. Other things they're lying about, but I'm going to give those reporters credit who keep giving Jen Psaki a ton of shit when she's lying to them. Yeah. Uh, Recent gas prices? Oh my god, that's Putin's fault. Where have you been for the last year? Uh, gas prices almost immediately went up after Biden became president. Notice I didn't say was elected president. When he became president. So, where were you? Where were you covering this? Why weren't you saying something about four dollars a gallon gas when he was shutting down oh i don't know just about every freaking pipeline in the country uh no longer giving out leases on federal land to drilling and fracking uh that kind of stuff really puts a damper on a market that makes their guesses and bets on what's coming into the market on possible futures that they're currently working on. If there's no future, everything goes up in price. You idiots. Did I mention that AOC has a uh, degree in economics? What the fuck? So they're lying to you about the cost for gas prices. They're lying to you about inflation. Isn't it funny, like, all of a sudden, Putin's being blamed for inflation. He doesn't print our money, you fucking idiots. Putin. Putin is the cut. 
anybody who's watching the news and buys into this bullshit, you... Okay, for one, you're not prepared for what's coming, right? You're you're obviously a dotard, an idiot. Um, so, somebody who probably has a horrible history of be, just being in bad relationships, right? Well, I had no idea that he was lying to me. I mean, he could have just fallen and his dick fell into her while she was on the bed. I don't know. I wasn't there. I mean... It, <sighs> So yeah, another lie. Putin is causing the inflation in our country. No, no, he's not. Oh, uh, here's a, a good selling point. Yeah, th this goes back to Bush again, because he said that he was going to get us off of oil and <clears throat> using ethanol, which would mean we'd have to use every piece of land and North America and every arable piece of land in Canada and I think Mexico is included on that just to reach half of what we use in gasoline per year. Yeah. And it takes more energy to grow and produce ethanol than energy you get. Uh, yeah, electric cars. Um, we're going to spend all this money that we don't have while printing more money and devaluing the money that we have. Uh, we're we're going to have charging stations and build electric cars and nickel is already tripled in price for batteries and the, the pollution involved in finding all the rare earth minerals to make all these electronics and batteries and... Yeah, every every tire has seven gallons of oil in it to produce it. But we're going to get off oil. And then there's the, the plastics for these plastic cars to keep them lightweight. Because otherwise you deplete the battery. That's not, that's not oil at all. Or the, the, the paints and, and the... <sighs> Our nation is run by a bunch of fucking idiots. Then there's the uh, the power grid, which is primarily coal-fired. We have some nuclear, but they don't want to use nuclear. Uh, we have wind turbines, but you know that went over well in Texas. It's it's what like I believe the wind turbines in Texas account for 30% of the actual power grid, but it only supplies 15% of the power. So that's not going over well. Hmm. It almost sounds like we need to build more coal-fired coal power plants in order to power these electric cars, because electricity is, like, free or something. You just... You just plug stuff into the wall. What what's the big problem? They're still trying to say COVID nineteen didn't come from a lab. Really, you're you're still going with that. That's that's your uh, that's your story, right? Yeah, um, that was not working out well for you. Has anybody seen Fauci? Anybody? Anybody seen Fauci? Fauci! <whistles> Come here, boy! Fauci! Come on, got some TV spot for you! Fauci! Fauci's a bad boy. And people are still pushing this whole, like, Trump-Putin thing. Which literally makes no sense whatsoever. So you're saying, <clears throat> let me get this straight for for the the people out there who are who are really trying to push this whole Trump was working with or for Putin. But for some reason Putin decided not to invade Ukraine until Trump, his puppet, was out of office. In which case if Biden is so, if 
if Biden is such a badass, why would Putin wait until Biden was in office to invade Ukraine? That's that that's where I'm lost here. The <clears throat> I can't even call it logic. The the story that's being told here makes absolutely no sense, and yet there's there's. I can't um, I can't believe how many people are, are pushing this whole thing. Trump was a traitor. Trump sided with Russia. But no, there's a difference between having respect for your enemy, which you should do if you want to win in a conflict, and being a sad sack of crap who's constantly taking naps and running to is it New Hampshire? It's not Vermont. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe he goes on vacation in New Hampshire, like, all the time. All the time. Oh, Russia invaded Ukraine. I'm, uh, weekend nap. Weekend nap. We hear nothing from Biden. For, for how long? <sighs> and there's Kamala Harris. More fake news, uh, saying that Ukraine is part of NATO and that we will stand with Ukraine and, and fulfill our NATO obligations. This is who we sent to Europe to help. I'm not even going to say fix. Do make things worse. This is who we sent to make things worse. Other fake news, uh, juicy Smut, smut butt, smut, small, smolet, smolat, smutty smut, I, juicy, you know, the guy, yeah, fake news, uh, he's, he's in jail for being black, I would argue he's in jail because he felt like he wasn't black enough, so, uh, yeah, he seemed to think for some reason that when he was getting hauled off to jail, not even prison jail, there's a difference. He's doing less than a year, so he's going to jail. Don't pass go, don't collect $100 or $200 or... I never liked Monopoly. Um, yeah, so now that... I wonder how his career is going to go now that he's going to have his... I'm full black card in his wallet after he gets out of jail. <laughs> I have proof now that I'm black. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're still trying to say that, uh, or at least I'm seeing articles posting this crap that he's only in jail because he's, he's black. No, he's going to jail because he's a criminal who lied, lied repeatedly to the police, lied to the judge after he was sentenced about being innocent. They have him on camera using his debit card, buying the shit that was used to beat him up by his gay lovers. I can't even write this crap. And I'm a writer. Last bit of fake news, apparently... Trump is scheduled to be on the Joe Rogan podcast. It's not true. Some some idiot on Twitter or something started posting like, Trump is scheduled to be on the Joe Rogan podcast, which I don't even think that would be a good episode because Trump does not interview well at all. I think it'd be worse than like the first time Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan. Which, yeah, it was three hours, but it wasn't until he started puffing on that joint that anything actually, like, came out of it. So, that's about it. I could cover more fake news. Don't really want to, because that would just involve reading the whole goddamn newspaper. And, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like... Do they even make newspapers anymore? That's it for me. Time to feed the chickens and get some breakfast and, uh... Yeah, if anything else happens today, you'll get another video, because, uh, who knows, it's, it's like a decade's worth of news it seems to happen every couple of days, and it's just, uh, uh, it's tiring, time change is really, 
Why is it day two of the time change that it really hits you? Yeah. I wish they'd really do something about that. In the meantime, keep on typing.